The University of Michigan has settled a lawsuit brought by its own students and says changes are coming in the way the school plans to protect them from sexual misconduct. Today's settlement comes after a long string of allegations of abuse at the university that stretched on for decades. And this settlement doesn't have so much to do with money, but rather changes the school will make to help change what many call the culture of silence. Victor Williams live in Ann Arbor tonight with what's going to happen moving forward. Victor? Yes, Karen and Jason, all the students that we spoke to can agree that this is something that should have happened a long time ago. I hope it works out and I hope it makes a difference. A new settlement has been reached in a class action lawsuit resulting in the new creation of the Coordinated Community Response Team, a.k.a. the CCRT. The team will be designed to increase the overall protection of students from sexual misconduct. We want the best for our school. We want everyone to be safe around here, so I feel like they're doing the right thing. The original lawsuit was filed by U of M student Josephine Graham, which claimed the school wasn't doing enough to ensure the safety of students with maintaining and enforcing certain policies. Something that they've still been struggling with, so I'm curious to see like who the team is going to be like made up of. Pending the judge's approval, the CCRT will consist of about 30 representatives across campus. That includes students, staff, and even the survivors of sexual abuse. The goal is to listen to those survivors and then come up with ways the school could have helped prevent the sexual abuse. The members will meet at least three times a year. I think the idea of like preventing it rather than trying to come up with solutions after the fact is important. In a press release, U of M interim president Mary Sue Coleman commented on the matter, stating the creation of the coordinated community response team is another important step towards our vision of becoming a national leader in protecting our community from inappropriate behavior and sexual misconduct. Obviously, it shows that the university is taking steps forward, which is a great thing to see as a student. And this is totally separate from the settlement that was reached in the Robert Anderson allegations. Reporting live from U of M, Victor Williams, Local 4.